Hey, what's going on guys? It's Wispin here and I am back with another video here on the Hoenn Adventure server. If you guys do want to join me here on the server, the IP is pokecentral.org and you can actually check the description for a link on how to download and install Pixelmon. Let's go ahead and get into today's episode. So in the last episode, we actually took on the sixth gym leader and we beat them. And today we have to complete the quest Journey Through Mount Pyre. Now, as you guys can see, if you've been following the series we didn't have this many quests yet there was actually 11 brand new quests added this friday and we plan on adding more every single week so make sure to go ahead and keep an eye out for that if you've already beat the elite four there should be some more stuff for you to do you can actually uh play through the first rematch which is rebattling all of the gyms may wally and the elite four that should be all implemented when you're watching this video uh but for now let's go ahead and read what we have to do here continue your adventure past four tree town talk to npcs on route 121 okay so this is already Route 121. In the last episode, we already left Fortree, which is back that way. That's the Safari Zone up there. We took a look at that. And I believe we need to head on down this way. And I think the NPC we need to talk to is somewhere over there. Let's go ahead and battle a couple of NPCs before we move on, though, because I do want to try to get some more experience. Now, let's go ahead and take the EXP share off Nero, and let's put it on to P for now. And we'll put the Quick Claw, I guess, on... I don't think it really matters. We'll put it on Venus but it shouldn't really make a difference anyway so let's go ahead and fight with nero and then we'll use the exp share on p and we should be good to go here so let's jump into this first battle and see if maybe we can take them out oh wow okay here he is a he is a minetric as well except his is a higher level let's go with overheat i think that's our best bet here it should do a ton of damage oh not really he's a higher level 35 versus 29 not too great let's go ahead and swap off i guess we go for venus i think he should be able to tank at least one hit and then we can try to take this guy out so that we can get some experience on all of our pokemon so let's just go with play rough that should one shot him i think i hope yep okay cool and that's all the pokemon he had cool so i am not gonna use actually mm, See, I probably shouldn't have got into this fight because I didn't Poke Heal, so now we have some low HP Pokemon. We're going to waste our Hyper Potion here on Nero, and I think I'm going to... Should I do it? I don't know. Let me check how much experience they need to level up. Oh, he's so close. Okay, I got to do it. I got to do it. We got to take on the Beauty Jessica. So the reason I was kind of questioning whether I should do this is because we're going to lose some HP here, and then we're going to have to make our way back to the Poke Center which is kind of unfortunate, but that's all right. Well, maybe we'll just go ahead and warp on over to the Poke Center, and then I'll make my way back here off camera. Let's go ahead and Volt Switch. Oh, no. Okay, that's unfortunate, but we can still level up P, hopefully. Maybe. We'll see. Not doing too much damage here. I'm not really paying attention to types, but... He oh, two Pokemon. Oh, no. Uh, Play rough. Let's try that. I did almost got him almost got him one more hit should take him out and then we're gonna have to hit the pokey center before we head on up to mount pyre uh, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem we could maybe even head to lily cove which is just further up the route all right let's see so viper come on now come on just let me hit you why there we go finally took long enough and let's just crunch on this kecleon kelseon kecleon something I don't want to learn Sucker Punch, but there we go. We defeated both of those NPCs. Unfortunately, Pokemon took a lot of damage, so let's head on back to... Let's see, where is it going to take us? Lily Cove City. Okay, so we're back in Lily Cove, and then we'll make our way back over there. I'll go ahead and do that off camera so you guys don't get confused on where I am, and I'll just head right back to where we were previously. All right, so we are back where we left off, and I wanted to ask you guys something before we move on with this video. I've been thinking about bringing back the live streams that I used to do. Probably, it's, it's had to have been like a year ago since the last live stream but I wanted to bring them back and I wanted to know what would you guys like to see on the live streams now what we used to do was a bunch of different challenges and contests we did parkour races mazes uh occasionally did a tournament not really too frequently but what would you guys like to see in a live stream or would you rather just see me play through the storyline or do like an episode live or something like that let me know down in the comments what you guys would prefer i'm kind of leaning towards bringing back the old contest and things like that but i want to figure out a way to implement that here on the hoenn server rather than on the survival server because i do want to try to get some more people playing on this server there's about 30 or 40 people online right now on hoenn and about 100 people over on survival and survival is pretty awesome 
awesome. There's a lot of stuff to do over there, but I definitely am preferring the Hoenn server right now, and I think a lot of people would enjoy it. Although I know a lot of people have already beat all of the challenges, so we're working on that. We're working on adding new things so that you guys have more stuff to do. Okay. But with that out of the way, let me know what you guys think about it. But let's go ahead and talk to this Aqua Grunt. Okay. What do you want, kid? Mount Pyre is off limits. Don't mess things up. Huh. Guys, I guess that's it. I guess I guess that's it. We can't we can't go to Mount Pyre. He he said it's off limits. I guess we're going back this way. No, I'm just kidding. We're not going to listen to some Aqua Grunt. Let's go up there, and we will defeat all of the Aqua Grunts along the way. And we're jumping into the water. Okay, this is going to be fun. we got to swim all the way to the other side of Mount Pyre. We have almost made it all the way around the island. That was kind of a long swim. All right, we made it, guys. Now, I'm going to avoid battling any NPCs that I don't have to for the quest, simply because I don't want to have to go all the way back to the Poke Center again. Oh, Dust Skull spawns here. That's pretty cool. I don't think I'm going to get a Dust Skull for my team. I think I, I feel like I already have too many Pokemon right now. I want to get an Absol. I don't really want a Dust Skull. Let's talk to the old woman here. You've come to visit the resting within Mount Pyre. Here, take this with you. You can use it to ensure no aggressive Pokemon will attack you. Okay, well, that is helpful. And I'll use it if I get attacked, but I feel like we can... Oh, wow, there is there is a lot of Pokemon here. Okay, let's, let's try to get through. Oh, no, let me through. Oh, no, okay, okay. We made it through that part of the... A cave. All right. Hex Maniac, we don't got to battle you. We're going to go ahead and pass on that for now. Pokey Maniac, nope. Psychic William, nope. What is this? Uh, there's nothing in there. Let's head up this way. Please don't attack me. Okay, cool. We made it up, and I believe we have one Aqua Grunt, two Aqua Grunts, three Aqua Grunts, four Aqua Grunts. All right. So we have four Aqua Grunts that we have to battle here, and we do not have anything to heal our Pokemon up with. So this is going to be really fun. Let's jump into this battle here. We're going to start with Nero. Probably should just be using Venus right now, but that's all right. So Grimer is only going to be weak to Psychic and Ground. So we don't really have much in the way of options. Let's try and overheat. That didn't really do much. You know what? Let's try a Volt Switch. See how much damage that does. Really not any at all. Okay, we're going to go with Trap Inch here just so we can try to take out a Grimer with him, although he's way under-leveled, so probably not going to happen. Uh, Portal, you can do it. I know you. I, I believe in you. Yep. That's, yep. Oh, wow. He almost took him out. He actually might. I was I was kind of kidding. I He's level 20 versus a 36. I was not expecting that. Uh, but okay. That, wow. I need to have more faith in my Pokemon. That was pretty great. Okay, so I'm actually going to swap on over to... V eh, nah, I'll stick with Nero. If he faints, oh well. We'll try this one more time. Oh, good call. Okay, Thunderfang. He's probably going to swap out, so I'm going to use... Never mind. Oh, okay. There you go. You just totally got wrecked there. That is perfectly fine, though. You know what? I will take it. Let's go with a... What do we want to use against a Sharpedo? Probably Fairy, right? I'm, I'm thinking Play Rough is our best bet. Nice one. Okay. And a mighty Anna. Probably the same move. So let's see if that can one shot him as well. Uh, no, but we can hit ourselves because we're confused. That's great. All right. There we go. And how many do we have left? I think there's still like two left. Plus, is there anyone up here? Let's see. There is Archie. I don't think we have to fight him, but we'll see. Let's talk to this Aqua Grunt. What do you got going on? A Golbat. Okay. I guess we'll just go with Play Rough again. Play Rough is pretty much good against all of the aqua grunts and maybe even the magma grunts but i think more so the aqua grunts all right let's try that again and see if we can actually land a hit this time wow that didn't do anything i'm wrong i was i'm i'm totally wrong okay gold bat what are you weak to you're flying jark flying poison type so you're weak to psychic electric ice and rock ha huh. that's unfortunate that's really unfortunate isn't it okay uh, and I was using the one move that isn't super effective, so I was probably getting screamed at. But we can go with a crunch. We'll see if that does any damage. A little bit, not really too much here. Let's see if we can finish him off, though, with Mawile. Do we still have Nero? Or did No, Nero got killed. Never mind. We don't have Nero anymore. So Mawile is really our last hope. All right, and play rough. That was pretty good, and one more hit on him, and oh, we were so close to fading. We had 14 HP, but we made it through him. Okay, 
One left, one left. Can we do this without having to go back to the Poke Center? We are so low on HP. <gasps> we have fresh water. We have fresh water, guys. Drink up. Drink up, Venus. Drink up. You got this. I believe in you. All right, we'll just use one for now. It might not be enough. We probably should have used two, but we're going to go for it anyway. So, okay, here we go. Play rough. Let's see. No, the confusion. All of these guys know swagger, and it just confuses me every single time. All right, one more, one more. And we got super effective, and he just has a level 16 Poochiana. I think we can handle that. There we go. Okay, we made it. We made it through. I don't even think we needed that water, but it was a safe bet. So let's talk to Archie here and pray that we don't have to actually battle him. And then, actually, you know what? Before we do that, I kind of want to try to catch this Vulpix. I'm not going to lie. I don't have any Fire-type Pokemon. I don't know if I'm actually going to end up using it. Uh, but we'll try here. We'll see if we can maybe catch him. I'm using the move that'll do the least amount of damage on purpose, guys. Don't worry. I know. I know this probably isn't the best move to use if we wanted to kill him. But I'm just trying to get him down to the red. Because we haven't caught a Pokemon in quite a while. So let's see. Can we go with a, a great ball here? So a timer ball. A timer ball, is that the more turns, the better chance of catching it? I don't think it's going to matter because I think we got it first try. Yep. Okay, cool. So, timer ball, the way the timer ball works is actually, I don't know, um, timer ball. Allows the player to catch wild Pokemon, works better in battles that have lasted longer. Okay, so yeah, the longer you're in the battle, the better the timer ball is. So we'll save that, maybe for like a legendary, I don't know. I don't know how high the catch chance can get on a timer ball, but we'll see how that goes later on. For now, let's go ahead and have a word with Archie. Darn, them troublesome Team Magma goons got here before us. They must have stolen something as well. Oh well, looks like I got what I came for. This red orb will do. That's not a word. Orbal? Orbal? Really, Archie? Come on now. I've heard Team Magma has a base on Mount Chimney. That must be where they ran off to. And they took the blue orb. Oh no. Oh no, guys. We're getting close. We're getting close to Kyogre and Groudon. And Shuppet. Thank you, Shuppet. That was good timing. Thank you. I really appreciate you. All right, so old woman, what do you have to say? Oh no, what shall we do? The red orb and the blue orb cannot be separated. Who knows what will happen? And we completed journey through Mount Pyre. Awesome. Okay, so we got ourselves a Vulpix as well. I want to actually warp back onto the Poke Center, which, where do we have to go next? Um, okay, we have to go all the way back to Mount Chimney, which is like really far on the other side of the map but let's warp on back to the pokey center take out actually let's heal up first and then we'll take out our vulpix i honestly think i'm gonna swap out malo maybe malo mm. you know what and eh, never mind i was gonna say i'll let you guys vote down in the comments but i've decided that it is my choice you guys will tell me to like get rid of venus or something or nero and i like both of them i'm gonna vote my pokemon from favorite to least favorite okay so we got venus number one he's level 38 i kind of got to keep him otherwise i'm gonna struggle very much nero i i really like nero uh i have to keep p it's it's part of my contract blazing fox he's setting up some of the gym leaders and NPCs and stuff around the server and me keeping an air on on my team is part of that contract so he's got to stay Molo is my starter but you know yeah I really want to fly gun so I gotta move him up portal you're okay so you know what this is the order right here so Molo I'm sorry I'm sorry my guy but you're you just you just gotta go you're gonna be in you could be in slot one in the bot in the PC at least so there you go okay we got a Vulpix and can Vulpix evolve straight away we have enough money to buy a Firestone, and I think that's how it evolves, right? Let's check. Wiki, Evolpix, Vol, not Volibi, Volpix, Evo. Firestone. You know what? Let's just go buy ourselves a Firestone. Might as well. What? It, it, it can't hurt. So we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a Volpix really quick. And I think since we're already here near the department store, if I can find my way up there, you know what? Let's just, let's just scale the mountain. We don't need roads. We don't need roads around here. We just need mountains to climb. All right. So, yeah, we'll get ourselves a Nine Tails and maybe head on back to Oldale Town. Uh, not Oldale. Little Root Town. And we'll see if we can maybe... Does this elevator work? Oh, look at that. The elevator works. Okay. Uh, so, let's go ahead and buy a Firestone. And we'll just toss it to Vulpix right away. Might as well. And then we're going to head on back to little root town visit the movie learner and recheck all of our pokemon's moves make sure we have the best moves on all of our pokemon and i think that should make it a lot easier to win battles 
and there we go look at that nine tails that is amazing the only thing that could be better is a shiny nine tails that would be pretty cool uh but there we go nine tails automatically bumped up to let's see level 31 let's actually let's put them in level order now so there 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 okay cool so that's how it goes right now. Ninetales already in slot number two. I'd say out of my six Pokemon on my team right now, he's probably my third favorite. I'd put Venus up first, then Nero, then this Ninetales, which we need a name for. And I fell in this hole last time as well. Okay, so now we need to head on to the bike, bike, uh, fast travel. So we can warp on back to Oldale Town. So I think it's right on over here. So I'm going to go ahead and get back to the Poke Lab all the way back in Oldale Town. And then we'll go ahead and see if we can learn any good moves. And then I will be right back with you guys. All right, so we are back in the Poke Lab. If you guys didn't know where the movie learner was, he's hiding back here in the corner of the Poke Lab in Little Root Town. And let's go ahead and take a look at all of our Pokemon. So the first one I want to look at is actually Ninetales. Oh, Flamethrower, right off the bat. Yes, please. Let's go with that. We'll replace Roar, and we'll see. Is there anything else? There's Imprison. If opposing Pokemon know any move, also known by the user, they are prevented from using it. Nah. Nasty Plot actually raises special attack. We'll, we'll go ahead and see, maybe. Uh, let's see. I'm going to replace this one. I don't think we need it. If we do, we can always relearn it. And Nero, what do you have to learn? Electric terrain. The user electrifies the ground under everyone's feet for five turns. Pokemon on the ground no longer fall asleep. No, thanks. We don't want Fire Fang. We don't want Tackle. We don't want... Do we want Thunder Fang? Or not Thunder Fang. Thunder Wave. Uh, the user launches a weak jolt. No, not really. Spark. Spark is okay. You know what? I'm going to replace... I'm going to replace Thunder Fang with Spark just because he is a special attacker. And I've been using this physical attack move so much. And now he's a special attacker. Unfortunately, his nature really sucks so i probably should have gone out of my way to try to catch a new one like this is the worst decreased speed increased attack this is the worst possible nature i could have got on a manetric and i got it uh we'll just leave it for now though that's fine and we'll probably replace him later maybe i'll just get a new one and name him nero and pretend it's the same one but he has better stats we'll, we'll probably go with that okay so let's see p can you learn anything metal claw no 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 we're good i think i think we're good on all our other pokemon actually trap inch can you learn anything? Uh, Bulldoze. That's probably good. And, oh, wrong Pokemon. Let's see Trap Inch one more time. Let's teach him Dig. Actually, I think Dig's better than Bulldoze. Although it takes two turns, but you're underground for one of them, so I don't know. Uh, and then maybe Rock Slide instead of a, a Sand Attack. And that should be good. There we go. So our moves on our Pokemon are definitely improved. And I'm actually going to go ahead and end this video here. So in the next episode, we're going to be going into the Hot Hideout, which is Team Magma's base. So make sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you are interested in seeing that and if you're enjoying the series. And of course, make sure to come join me here on the server and check it out. At least check it out. It, it doesn't cost anything to join, so you might as well do it as long as you have a Minecraft account. And uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, link down in the description to a tutorial on how you can actually install Pixelmon. Uh, but that's going to be it. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.